We are continuing from step two of the asset disposal, moving on to step number three. Step number three is to transfer the accumulated depreciation of the asset that we disposed of to the asset disposal account. We do that by debiting the accumulated depreciation on vehicle account with a total accumulated depreciation for that vehicle. The 24,000 that was shown on our asset register plus the 3,000 of step number one. And we will credit the asset disposal account posted to the ledger. We will now debit accumulated depreciation with 27,000 and we will credit the asset disposal account with 27. At this point, we have the cost of the asset on the debit side of asset disposal and the accumulated depreciation of that asset on the credit side of the asset disposal account. Now, step number four is to record the selling price. It was sold for cash, which means it will be recorded in the cash receipt journal. Receipt number on day one of July, we received money from J. Joseph, 12,000 Rand, and our reason for receiving the money is asset disposal. Which means since we received money, bank will be debited, and the asset disposal account will be credited, compra account bank, CRJ. And step number four is done and dusted. Step number five is now to calculate whether we have made a profit or a loss. So if we now look at our asset disposal account, it will help us to determine. There are two ways. The first way is that when we went through the steps, we said that the difference between the book value and the selling price, if the selling price is more than the book value, we've made a profit. If the selling price is less than the book value we've made a loss. So let's look at how that will work out. How do we calculate the book value? It's cost minus the accumulated depreciation. And you can immediately see that gives us 13,000. So the book value is 13,000. What is our selling price? 12,000. Which means, in effect, we have made a loss of 1,000. So we will debit loss on disposal of asset account, 1,000, and we will credit the asset disposal account with 1,000. And that is a loss made on the sale of asset. The other way is to balance this account. So the debit side here is clearly the biggest, 40, in comparison to 39, which means that creates a missing amount on the credit side. And whenever the missing amount is on the credit side, it is a loss on sale of asset. So asset disposal is credited with 1,000 and the loss on sale of asset account will be debited with 1,000. We also need to update the fixed asset register. The last entry was on the 31st of December 2004. We have updated the depreciation on the 1st of July with 3,000, which means the total accumulated depreciation is 27,000, and the book value of, on that date, 13,000. Please note, as the vehicle was sold on the 1st of July, an extra six months depreciation had to be calculated. At the end of the accounting period, depreciation needs to be calculated on the remaining assets. Now, what is our remaining assets? In essence, it's the balance of our vehicle account. So we had 100,000 in the beginning of the year, and we have sold 40,000, and that left us with 60,000. So that is our remaining asset, all calculated as follows. The opening balance minus the cost of the asset that we have disposed of equal the remaining asset. So we still need to calculate depreciation on the 60,000 that we still had. So that is 60,000 times 15%, and that equals 9,000.